Thank you for coming out. We've just had a conference inside trying to bring various representatives and uh, people in the positions that need to have this information firsthand. And now we want to now we want to bring it to you. We, of course, have suffered a, a devastating storm. Uh, tragically, we've lost, we, we believe, 25 people, 25 of our people due to this storm. And we don't want to lose any more. So we ask everyone to be, be careful. Don't go out, if, don't, don't uh, use a chainsaw for the first time uh, today or during this storm. Also, be careful, there are electrical wires running under down trees and limbs, and it's, it's, don't go out there if there's any chance that there's any sort of wire running under those that debris because you can get shocked and die. And that is the reason that it's taken us a while to get these things, get the debris out of the way, and that is the chainsaws cannot go in until the electricity is turned off by the power company. Now the power companies are working around the clock. We have thousands of people out all over the state and we'll have some details in a, a moment on, on that. But it, this is something that's going to require some patience. We haven't seen anything quite like this before, particularly in this part of the state. But um, it is a, it's a devastating blow, but we can make it through. All we have to do when we get that debris cleared, once we get the debris cleared, then we can get in and the filling stations and all the stores, all the things that are without electricity, including some of the cell towers aren't working. So we're really in the dark in some places, but it's going to take patience, but we're getting there. We're making steady progress. We've had meetings every day on this. We have two, two a day with all the county people, all the state people to keep everyone informed and be sure the assets are being allocated to the most, the best uh, advantageous spots. I've asked the, the National Guard today and the State Guard to take any, any personnel that are available that are not already deployed and put them to work assisting and helping around the state wherever they can be of any assistance. And they'll be working closely with the state's law enforcement division. Chiefs, uh, <coughs> Chief is here to d discuss that as well. But we want people to remain calm. Help is on the way. It's just going to take some time. We're working to have a, a system up where you can go online or, or, or go to uh, places that, that have this sort of information to see which uh, gas stations open, which, which roads are blocked, all that sort of stuff. Some folks can't get online to see it, and we'll ha have it available. But we ask everyone to be very patient. Um, also, the, the power companies and Calico Sam can go into this a, a little bit in more detail about the thousands of people that are out there. They're out there for Duke. The co-ops are working around the clock as well. And the Department of Transportation is it was positioned before the storm, getting ready for the storm. And now they are working around the clock as well. We have people sleeping in the offices, sleeping in, not in hotels, but, but in warehouses and all sorts of places and able to enable them and their crews to keep working around the clock. So I'll ask Justin Powell, the Secretary of Transportation, to provide some.